Welcome to a very interesting topic for the day and the topic is what is elevator pitch? Many a times we have heard this word but very difficult to figure it out. I don't know if we have given enough thought on what elevator pitch is. So let's begin. To start with, I'll give you an example. Imagine you are at the airport and you meet a guy from a company whom you want to really make a business with. You have time until you get to the end of the check-in queue to explain to him why he should work with your company. There are many things you want to tell him, but before you know it, you have run out of time and your chance has gone. So this is exactly the kind of time when you need an elevator pitch. What is an elevator pitch? The idea of an elevator pitch is to quickly explain what you and your company do and what makes it appearing in no more than a time it takes for you to take an elevator ride. Some believe an elevator pitch also known as elevator speech should be not more than two minutes. Ideally though, you wanted to make it maybe less than a minute because that's generally how long you have got to grab someone's attention and make an impression. Of course, elevator pitches aren't really for elevators. The ideal one is something that is ready to use at any time. An elevator pitch can be used at job interviews, job fairs, networking events or presenting to potential investors. Also, do not forget your online elevator pitch. This could be a paragraph on your website or a footer at the bottom of your emails. Either way, it serves the same purpose as your main elevator pitch. So what makes a good elevator pitch is, there's no one size fits all formula for a great elevator pitch. However, there are a few things you should include. What are they? What you can do for your customers or clients. It's no secret that the business ideas are based on solving problems that people experience. From cars to coffee to maybe the Zomatos that come to your home to anything, any business for that matter, on a real problem that customers face by providing a product or service that is much needed. Hopefully, you will already know what this key selling point is for your business if you are doing a business for a longer time. But if you don't, now is the time to figure it out for yourself. When you develop your elevator pitch, you should set out the problem before the solution. For example, don't talk about your new range of your quick dry swimming costumes. How annoying it is to have a cart around damn kit all the day after your morning dip in the swimming pool. So who are you targeting? A certain well-known radio station has a life-size cardboard out of a 45-year-old woman carrying a shopping bag opposite the presenter's microphone in the studio. Why have they chosen this somewhat bizarre means of decoration? Is it to remind the presenters who they are speaking to? Think about who you are pitching your business to and make sure you understand the needs of this audience. If you are pitching the customers, this will help them engage with what you are saying. When pitching to investors, make sure your elevator pitch mentions the specific market segment that your product is aimed at. The potential size of this market and their spending habits would also be taken very seriously if you speak about them. Dealing with the competition. It is very rare for a business to have no competition. It's important to remember though that your competition may not be what you think it is. One online video streaming company has said that they see their main competition not as other websites, TV companies or even movie theatres but as the audience goes to sleep. They realize that they need to make it easier for people to watch just one more episode before heading off to the bed. So think innovatively, who or what is your competition? Are you entering a marketplace crowded by other suppliers but with a superior product? If you are, what makes you better? Does your product replace an outdated technology like music streaming, replace the CDs? 
so whatever you do and with whomever you you compete your elevator pitch needs to make clear that it is which sets your product apart be personal mention the money and tuck up with what you have already achieved potential investors are not just buying into your business idea they are buying into you and your business to help them do that your elevator pitch needs to give them confidence that you can deliver on what you say to give the impression that you are credible sustainable company including things like information about your own experience or background if you have spent 20 years working in the industry already talk about that or if you have just graduated with a top degree from major university in your industry mention that talk up your team nobody can run a successful business on their own and investors want to see that understand your own strengths and weaknesses and can bring in others to do the things you can't in your pitch include a line about a team members you already have on board and be upfront about the gaps you are still looking to fill don't shy away from your finances it's important also to talk about the financial side of the business and any milestones you have already achieved how will you compete on price while ensuring that you remain in business who is looking for after your financials have you already achieved product certification or won awards or trade shows all of these things will help others take your elevator pitch seriously how not to do it when you are considering what makes a good elevator pitch consider the things that you definitely should not do the golden rules are don't talk for too long one of the most common questions people ask is how long an elevator pitch should be the absolute maximum is 2 minutes but within 2 minutes but if you don't get it down to let's say a minute so much the better you need to come down to as minimum as less than a minute don't rush although you might have a lot of information to get through do not hurry through your elevator pitch or present the information in a disorganized way try to be very concise and clear always tell the truth tell it like it is obviously you want to present your business in the best possible light but lying isn't the way to achieve that make sure that any figures or statistics you quote are as accurate as you can make them and if you don't know the answer to the question be honest and say so be prepared and confident try to be self assured when you present your elevator pitch don't mumble or stutter the best way to feel confident is to prepare and practice so how to prepare an elevator pitch following are the steps knowing what to include is only the first step you also need to practice your delivery write out your elevator pitch as though you were preparing a script then read it back to yourself out loud this helps to make sure that you include everything you need and that it actually makes sense it's also an opportunity to time your elevator pitch aiming between 30 to 60 seconds once you have worked out that what you are going to say and checked it for length it's time to practice the best way to do this is to recite your pitch in front of a mirror my favorite not only will this improve your confidence but it will also give you a feel for how the length of your pitch relates to the time of an elevator journey elevator pitch examples of course these are only examples your elevator pitch should be tailored and personal to you use this example as a starting point perhaps selecting some ideas to incorporate into your own i left university last year with a degree in computer science while i was there i developed a new content management system which runs quickly with lower overheads and is tailored to the needs of bookshops it's already being used in more than 10 bookshops in the city and now i am building a team to roll it out nationally i'm manish and i run a bakery that's been in our family for more than 50 years the customers we have now are the children or in some cases grandchildren of the people my granddad served when they first opened it 
they keep coming back because they know our quality is fantastic and they can trust us. We want to grow the business without losing that personal touch. So we are building an extension on the side of the shop to open a small cafe. Creating a distinctive and incisive elevator pitch is as much an art as it is a science. Following the rules we have outlined here will give you a good chance of success but even the best elevator pitch will fail more often than it succeeds. That's the nature of business as every entrepreneur will discover. You can give yourself the best chance of achieving your aims by preparing carefully in advance. Keep your pitch concise and to the point. Always define the problem and the solution. Explain what it is that makes you better than your competitors. Understand your customers. Showing that you have a reliable and sustainable business by talking about your finances and the milestones you have achieved. All successful entrepreneurs, however, have one thing in common and that is determination. You may have to use your elevator pitch 50 times to get one new client. Practicing and honing the content, style and presentation of your pitch will increase your hit rate. There's no substitute though for sheer hard work, perseverance and putting in the number of hours that you do. Hope I make sense here. So next time if you are about elevator pitch, you know what to do. Best wishes. Thank you.